you already started to get used to, the IFC Open Shell Contributors Army is not sleeping, guys. They are doing an amazing job and literally every day there are new features or new issues fixed. So this is a very beautiful part of an open source project. Yes, so I am talking about this right here, guys. You see this? People are not sleeping, are making new things. And what is this? This is a much better and improved interface for modeling. So here now you get to see some basic elements, I would say. Yes. It's still not very advanced, but it's a huge upgrade to the latest previous version, which was a bit more difficult to find it. So we have the basic stuff here, right? Let's have a look. What do we have here? We have walls, we have slab, we have door, window, column, beam, a duct, pipe, and custom element. This is very, very, very cool. And I hope you are going to use this. Now, let me share a disclaimer with you before I go on with this video. I am not an expert user at all. I am actually very, very noob when it comes to Blender. I know the basic stuff. I know the basic commands, how to use them, but I am not a proficient user. So do not watch this video for that. I'll just show you how this functionality works. If you want to make the most out of this, you will need to learn basic Blender. You don't need to become an expert either, but you need to know the basic stuff. You need how to go around in the model, how to move things, how to scale and so on, this kind of things. This will provide a very good start for you and you will not need to go and get lost in the user interface otherwise, right? So with that out of the way, let's have a look at what do we have here, right? Actually, one more thing before I start right now. When you are creating something, the way Blender Beam works is that if you are modeling something in Blender, then you need to assign a class to that object. This simplifies the things and you start by creating that type and then you can use that element in your project. And even a better thing for this is that actually you can develop your internal library maybe or a, a national or I don't know, library of elements that you can use and reuse in your project. And that's the good part with the types, because, for example, let's say steel beams, you have a quite well defined library of these elements, right? Maybe they vary in the length, in the thickness, in the thickness of their flanges of elements and so on, right? So you will save a lot of time if you invest some time or if you start using a demo library. I think we have something like if we look here at the project overview, we will see, do you want to use a template? You can create your own template here where you can have your own element. We can see we have like uh, IFC for EU still, like this is for your Europe. This is for Australia still and the normal Australia library. I'm not really sure what that is. Demo library with a bit of everything and the US still, right? So this provides you already a good head start, but you can also develop and create your own. Dialing back, this is what these elements are doing for you. It saves a lot of time from making custom elements and converting them to IFC elements. You will still need to do that if you have anything that this is not covering. And of course, it's going to be a lot that these are not covering. But although they are simple elements, you will also see that we got a new modifiers menu where you can actually apply modifications to your elements so actually this is very cool although i expect for this to become even better in the longer term because it's the first iteration only right it can become only better from here so i'm very very pumped about this so now let's start like i said let's create a wall and we can see that oh my god what is happening here no ifc project how do i dare to create something without having an ifc project we can see the interface here the project overview i did not create an ifc project we see here on the left hand side there is no project structure nothing right what a blasphemy let's do that let's say that i like this uh, setting right here i want to use ifc4 i want it to be metric i want to use meters i work in infrastructure yeah, you can use millimeters also, but let's take meters for this time and the uh, square meter and cubic meter for volume. And uh, do I want to use any template? No, I don't want because that's what you do when you develop your own type elements. So I'll click on this and voila, there you go. Our project has been created and now let's go. Let's give it a go. Like I said, I choose this element right here, create a wall, as you can see, and now we can see that we don't have too much. Do we want to name it? Yeah, I'll not give any name, let's say, 
200 millimeters actually we can see that this gets a name but we can see the height the length and if we have a displacement in the z direction if we have a z offset and we don't have that so yeah this is just to mislead you right so forget about this thickness right now if i click on add we can see the length here but who has a one meter wall come on let's be honest let's put a four meter wall right and let's click on this dang there you go there is our wall that's nice right and we can see here on the left hand side that we got this ifc wall in our my story i have my story guys when are you making your own story and here we can see under the types section we can see that we created a wall type again i will not go too deep into this i'll just go over these elements how they work and what they do but i will not make a house for you with these elements i'm sorry i'm not that good at blender not yet and uh, yeah that's not the most i use blender beam for actually you should go and watch <laughs> the ifc architect videos because he covers this much more in depth than me i'm just trying to spread the good word and the good information about the new features and the uh, developments of blender beam so yeah keep that in mind so we have this wall right here i will not do anything anymore with it but we can see here at the top we can see some things here right we can see that we can extend it we can add a bot meter merge we can flip it quite simple actually i'll show you the flip because that's very simple if i click on flip it will just go from one side to another and unfortunately this is a bug i guess you can see these things are beneath the interface and i already submitted a github issue i hope uh, it's something that we can fix because i think this is because of my user uh, resolution scale so if i will set this to one i think no it's still because there are too many of them so yeah i hope the guys will find a solution for this because there are more things and i don't know how can i see them in another way like they are right here to the right and i don't know where to find them so I'm sorry guys, please don't bash me too hard for this. It seems that I panicked for no reason guys, because it looks like there is a way to access the menu, the editing menu, the modifying menu, whatever you want to call this, for the elements. And there are two ways for that. And let me show you how you do that. You can see here at the top, right? I'm talking about this menu right here. There you go. Okay, so because there are more things here behind this interface, but to get there, instead of zooming out in the model space, there is a better way to do that. And you do that by pressing the key N on your keyboard and you will get this menu. Or you see this arrow here, very small, exactly here where my mouse is. It's here, guys. You see, it's exactly here. It will also show up this line. And when you click that, you, by default it's on the item right which of course has some uh, details about the element you have selected and instead of being in the item tab you need to click on tool and there you go now you have all these things right here and you can use this right like for example to rotate 90 degrees to flip it or whatever else you want to use it for right and the second option for that which i think it might be even better it's actually here in this menu you need to click on this tool and by default we are in the scene tab in this toolbar you need to go in the tool and then you will see everything here and let's see if it works it still works right that's all i just wanted to make sure i add this to this video before i ship it out all right there we go we have this wall now let's focus on other things let's try to make a slab right what can we do with this slab if we go to the slab we will see let's leave this as it was Typex, right? The best ever name. Type in your keyboard, I guess. I don't know what this means. Maybe you can leave a comment and tell me. But yeah, that's how we start again. We don't have any type of slab, right? So we start with that, creating that. And when I do that, we will see that we created here Typex. A Typex IFC slab. You see it is here. But we don't have any slab actually, right? Now I'll click on add. Only after I do that, I will get the slab here, which is amazing. Exactly the size I needed. Oh my God i am going nuts guys i'm going nuts that's not the point of the video again don't judge don't judge the book by its cover okay let's go here at least i know how to snap you see at least that's what i know a little bit <laughs> how to snap in blender okay let's take this door now the door the same thing right 
you can also edit the profile i just need to put in some time to use it but unfortunately i don't need modeling at work not yet not yet unfortunately my focus is actually to validate information and not to model so unfortunately guys i do not get so much time to focus on modeling ifc architect you're watching this definitely keep pushing out good videos about how to model with blender beam especially with this new interface after they fix that bug for the drawings because you are so reliant on your drawings right <laughs> i'm kidding man come on don't take this person i hope you know that all right let's go so this is the door add ifc door we see that we got also this door right here and here under doors we can create many 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 doors all the doors that we need and then just use them on all the projects we need yeah and now i'll click on add we see that this here we have a, an offset in the height or, or set offset of zero and when i click there we have our door nice right and we can see the element is right here now if you want to validate that let's take the wall I'll go here in the object and we have a look here and what do you see IFC wall and with a predefined type of solid wall we can of course change that but this is by default and of course you can modify that and update your types but again that's not the purpose of this video oh my god I am completely going over the walls here sorry about that let's take the window now and the same add an ifc window type and we see here that it has one meter a z offset that would mean that we'll have one meter from the slab oh no what happened here or maybe that was the height of so yeah let's leave it there i can use g and move it up you see i know how to use blender i told you <laughs> okay let's go here now let's make a column because that's the perfect place where you can have a column exactly right into the wall add an ifc column and now edit profile oh okay look here we can edit the profile of the window but that's not what i want to do now so how do i go out from here i don't know let's see will this button save me yes yes i saw also that it automatically changed to the edit mode which is the mode where you can change edit things in blender so that's actually pretty neat and pretty cool because then you can modify that exactly how you want and apply the changes and yeah here you can see more things void if you want to add a void a center line and everything else right and let's say that i want to have this massive column guys this looks perfect this looks mm, quite okay right <laughs> okay the next one is a beam where should we put this beam so if i go here we have the beam and now let's create an ifc uh, beam type and now we see the length of three meters yeah that's fine axis it it asks here what axis do we want to use for this and i'll leave that it's fine again oh it's perfect right okay cool we have it there now what else do we have here let's move here so we can see a little bit better let's see if this will be placed there again let's create the dark segment type and add it bang there we go now here we go now we have a little bit of space here we can see the different elements now let's keep going with the pipe add ifc pipe segment and now click on add okay there you go but i don't know dion if you are going to watch this but this doesn't really it looks like a pipe but it's more like a cylinder like there is no thickness of this pipe so i think we need a hole in it to look closer to a pipe what you think yes and then the last thing it's create element which if we hover gives you beam authoring related superpowers you understand that so i guess if you use that you will be able to create a custom element so let's see the weird part is that the beam is still selected and why is that i see oh no 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 okay you can choose i see you get the menu here you can choose whatever you want from this okay oh so in a way if you have it there you can choose from all of them okay i see i see what you did here then okay so let's say we want to use this wall from here yeah and here we have our predefined 200 millimeters wall which i don't think is 200 millimeters but it might be i'm not sure i will not show you how to measure in blender go look for other videos there are so many of them about blender so you will find a better video for this all right i think i build my future house this doesn't look very promising but it's a start right and there you go guys here we have all our elements right that's cool 
Now, what do we know about this? We know that this is an IFC pipe segment. It has object quantity sets. It has also a parametric set, Blender beam dump profile. <gasps> what did you say, Blender? Did you say that I'm dumb? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the right moment to start the madness, right? Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you up in the next one. Have a good one.